guys, Eric with the Drum Addict coming at you with another Friday bonus video. Loretta and I are working on a fun, uh, <laughs> uh, to be a fun video, a little silly video uh, for next week. Um, I don't want to spoil anything because it's kind of silly. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. At any rate, so I went to one of my other ideas uh, for this week, which is just to talk with you a little bit about uh, my musical influences. Um, heard several people doing this uh, on their channels and I think my story is a little bit uh, unique. Uh, before we get into that, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video, share it, follow The Dramatic on the social media. Links are in the description below. Um, if you'd like to support The Dramatic, there are a couple ways to do that. Links are also in the description below. There's something in those for you as well. Uh, don't forget to check out our um, fundraiser shirts. Those two links are also in the description below. 100% of all the profits from those two shirts go to support to write love on her arms. All right, guys, so um, the dramatic is a little bit of disarray right now. I don't know if you can see it. Let me step out of the way. Uh, kind of clean it up still from our Halloween shoot, um, which uh, is going to be super fun, and you'll see that at the end of the month. I think on the 28th, I think is the day that it releases. Uh, put some new mics on the drums, so lots of cool stuff happening here. Um, anyway, so... Um, I grew up uh, listening to, uh, I was going to say predominantly, not even predominantly, only uh, contemporary Christian music or Christian rock, and um, and it was always it was always a debate at my high school, uh, which was a, a pretty conservative school, and I'm thankful for the experience there. Uh, but about how how uh, rock and roll, particularly Christian rock, was the devil's music, um, and that's why Christians shouldn't be playing it. Um, of course, um, I kind of butted up against that because I loved that music. It was great. And um, so I grew up listening to bands uh, like my, my first exposure to music outside of um, the Gaither Trio, which nothing wrong with that at all, um, but to um, the world of like pop and rock music was, uh, was Michael W. Smith's uh, Project album. Um, so... Um, I'm going to put links to, to some of these albums for you in the description below as well because some of these might be kind of obscure references. Um, and then that led to bands like uh, Petra um, and White Heart and, um, gosh, who else? Bride, um, Bloodgood, um, White Cross. Oh my gosh, yeah, they were a big one uh, for me as well. And um, I'll put links to some of these, some of these guys uh, in the description below. Uh, so I li grew up listening to a lot of those bands. DeGarmo and Key was another one. I mean, saw a lot of them in concert, went to a lot of these shows, um, and loved watching live music. And then uh, when I was tw probably around 11, and I started to, um, there was a kid in my school who played drums, and boy, like to my, uh, however old you are, <laughs> or however, whatever grade you're in at 11, my sixth grade, um, brain I was like man this eighth grader that plays drums is absolutely the coolest uh, cat in the, in, in, in the world and um, we talked about drums and I was just like man this is really cool I think I really want to do this and so as I started playing um, the, 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 the couple drummers particularly that really started to influence me and who I still look at um, as um, well, they're amazing musicians, and then um, as uh, huge influences on my life, it's um, one of the guys uh, played for Whiteheart for several albums, and on their uh, what I would call their quintessential album, the Freedom album. I mean, his name is Chris McHugh, and if you know that name, that's not a surprise because he's like one of the highest, uh, one of the session players in Nashville that's in the highest demand. He's the band leader for um, Keith Urban. Um, and records with him and tours with him and does a lot of studio work in Nashville. Uh, but I knew him from his time with, with Whiteheart, just a solid, uh, tasteful, in the pocket, all concentration mm -hmm. drummer as he just pounded it out. And another guy that I, I uh, remember uh, that, that was a, a, an influence to the way I was playing was um, David Huff. Um, and uh, he toured with Michael W. Smith for a while, and he actually uh, played for Whiteheart way back in the day before Chris McHugh, fun story, with his brother Dan Huff, and if you know those names, it's probably because they're also session players, and they were part of the band Giant. So um, those, those two guys particularly uh, shaped a lot of kind of 
the, the early stuff that I was playing with and kind of how I approached the drums and how I played. And, um, and another uh, real important influence, though not a famous drummer, was my drum teacher, Paul Stowell. Um, gosh, if anything, to kind of know where he's at and what he's doing today. Um, but here, here's why he was so important. Not only was he a great musician, um, but I brought him a Mike, Michael W. Smith song and said, hey, what is the drummer playing? And he showed me. Then a, a month or so later, I brought him another song by Whiteheart. And, he sa and I said, hey, what's the drummer playing? And he said, why don't you tell me what the drummer's playing? Um, and so that kind of revolutionized uh, my, my world. So um, I know some people grew up in like Sight Buddy Rich and, um, uh, oh my gosh, I came and I'm so, it's so late guys, and I'm so tired um, as I'm filming this. Uh, uh, just all, all these, all these drummers, and, and, and of course they're they're all fantastic. Um, and and um, I grew very differently. It wasn't until um, in my in my twenties that um, I discovered re knew I knew of bands before, but I discovered bands um, that uh, that I were in their prime when I was uh, when I was growing up. But um, because I was only listening to Christian music, um, I really wasn't very familiar with their music until later and I was like oh my gosh there's so much awesome music out here right um, I even came to the striper game way late um, and um, in store for you in the future is a striper cover so be able to look up for that in the next several months um, at any rate but um I think that um my drum teacher was as influential as of uh, those other two guys and yeah there were other drummers that I heard um, and then I've had other influences later in my life um, Probably the most recent uh, influence, um, just in terms of, uh, gosh, I love his style and his creativity and the way it uh, adds to the song. It isn't just locking it down, but as Josh Dunn from 21 Pilots, um, he's amazing and phenomenal. Um, but uh, my teacher just helping me learn to hear music and understand what a drummer was playing uh, w without having to just read music um, is was a, a great thing. And so like he was as influential as Chris McHugh and uh, David Huff um, and guys like that and um, so fun little story um, I was about 18 or 19 and I was working with a youth pastor who was just this uh, amazingly charismatic guy and um, uh, and you wanted to be like him like he was just that guy and um, he had um, this uh, philosophy that if it wasn't sung by Christian artists then it uh, <laughs> This is, maybe this stuff sounds crazy to you, but if it wasn't by Christian artists, then it uh, was glorifying Satan. And um, and for the time, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Um, and then, no judgment on this this guy, but um, he had a little uh, little indiscretion and ended up kind of falling out of uh, the ministry and uh, made some mistakes and. What was good about that for me was it caused me to kind of reevaluate everything um, and start asking myself, what do I believe about A, B, and C? And one of those things was music. What do I believe about about music? And um, so it really opened up a world of music to me. And, um, and I, that's when I began to like be like, oh, the Guns N' Roses and uh, um, Def Leppard and other bands uh, like this from from way back when, but I was kind of discovering them in the early to mid 90s uh, all over again. And I joke with friends of mine that I'm always a little late to the party anyway. Um, my Chemical Romance is one of my favorite pants now. And um, that was just a discovery in the last like two years for me. So it's just kind of funny how I come across music. But um, at any rate, I don't know if you find this interesting. It's kind of a long rambling video. I'm looking at the time on my, my thing and it's like nine minutes. Oh, maybe it gives a little insight into who I am, and uh, but music speaks to me deeply. Whether it's um, you know a, a Christian song, you know by a Christian artist, or whether it's not, um, I think uh, art speaks to us all on a deep level. And there's something spiritual about uh, the connection of music uh, with us as human beings. So anyway, that's a little bit about kind of where I came from. I hope that you found that interesting. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know who your favorite drummers were growing up. Who you feel like influenced you and shaped you and you know what a drum teacher did you take lessons did you have somebody that showed you um your first beat for me it wasn't paul stowell it was my friend dave van fleet um 
who um, runs a ministry in New York City. Fantastic guy, great drummer. Show me my first boom cha boom cha. You can kind of build everything in 4-4 off of that. Made me listen to a blues song, and I hated it at the time because it wasn't rock and roll, you know, or was it what I understood as rock and roll. Um, and I should have spent more time with it then. Uh, but who influenced you, whether it was a, a, a pro player or somebody in your life that made it exciting to you, like the kid two grades up that had the long hair and was just like super cool, wore the Dove Leopard shirts. Um, <laughs> and you're like, oh, that's cool, I will play drums. Um, and uh, so who was it? Who were your favorite drummers? Who was a teacher? or somebody in your life that inspired you. And uh, leave those in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. You guys, thanks for sticking around. This is actually a way longer video than I wanted it to be. Uh, but I'm kind of, I kind of ramble sometimes. Um, and especially when Loretta's not in the room with me to, to keep me accountable to time. So anyways, maybe you scrubbed through some of this. Maybe you watched it all. Maybe you were eating it up. Um, that's a little bit about Eric, where Eric came from musically. Uh, if you have any questions, also leave those in the comments below. I'd love to answer them. You guys, that's enough of me talking. Check out our next cover um, Wednesday, which is going to be The Monster by Eminem featuring Rihanna. We had a lot of fun with that one. So check it out, you guys. We will see you next time.